Anyway, hi guys, this is Rosa from Rosa's Resources. Uh, I just want, wanted to come on here and do this real quick video. Um, something that I experienced today, today really touched me basically. You know, a lot of times guys, um, people are going through grief and um, they don't look like what they've been through. You know what I mean? So you never know what somebody is going through. So I met this gentleman about um, two years ago. And he gave me some bit of advice, you know, when I was going through my relationship issues. And I saw him today, so I just wanted to tell him, thank you. Those advice really, really, you know, really, really helped me, you know. And then, like I said, he don't look like what he'd been through, right? And he was sitting there ever just so nice, the way he always is, right? And because um, he's on my Facebook page, you know, he followed me. But, you know, you just never really pay people uh, any attention you just know that they're there but today I actually got to see him and um, I wanted to tell him thank you so I went over to him all excited and everything and then he tells me my um, my granddaughter died and the granddaughter was only two years old you know and it's like uh, you know like here you go with your good news and he had something else going on you know so I just had to be like uh, you know thank you anyway and just sit down and listen to what he was going through, you know. So sometimes when people are going through grief of losing someone or going to the depression, whatever the issue is, sometimes people just want to vent. So I'm running over there with my excited news. And I didn't know that he wanted to vent. And he just was like, as he tells me about his two-year-old daughter, granddaughter that just passed away, um, he just went on and on. We sat there for a good half an hour just talking about his granddaughter, he took the picture out. Oh my God, the worst thing was, guys, is when he, it's when he took the picture out of when he was holding his two-year-old granddaughter's dead body. And I said to him, please, I really don't want to see that. Like, you know, but I had to clean it up in a nice way. I'm like, please, 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 I can't, you know, because he had so much photos of her. Like, you know, I like for me, I wouldn't want to remember someone like that, but you never know until you get into that spot. <laughs> And he just was like, look at her, look at her. She's just an angel. She's just a baby. Why did God take her now? And it was just like a good time for me to tell him, like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, um, we don't know why she had to go so early. But the impact that she had um, in your life for the two little years you knew her, like she touched your heart. He said that pain is a pain. Like he had a divorce. You know, he lost many relationships. He even lost a lot of dead people. But he said that. Nothing, nothing, nothing touched his heart like his grandbaby's death. Like that little, little baby, two-year-old dying. He said nothing. No, he said every, He said he don't know when he's going to be able to get over this pain. He said it feel like a hole in his heart. I said, I know how you feel. I can't really say I know how he feel because everybody's pain is different. But I have losses too. I had a loss that really touched my heart. So I'm like, you know. But you can't really compare people's pain. You know what I mean? Everybody go through their own journey of pain. Some people handle it different. Some people could get over it quicker than others. And, you know, he said one of the things that um, bothered him a lot is, like, a lot of his friends was telling him to, to strengthen up and man up. And that pissed him off so badly because he said he broke down like a baby. And he cried like a baby. He said his kids, because he was like a tough exterior type of person he said he haven't cried in years and he said when he broke down on that floor and he cried in front of his son because it's his son's baby he said they were like oh there is a human inside that's how hard like a rock this man was so i'm here to tell any men please get your emotions out please cry in the bathroom cry in your car cry in front of your spouse cry the most important thing crying is cleansing get that toxic energy out of your body a lot of a lot of people when they don't cry it out um get that anger out they end up like punching walls or hurting someone or taking it more physical so i'm just here to tell you guys to just release your anger release it release that anger if you have to cry cry i have a friend that she says she's jewish and she said that they were taught not to show emotion in, um, in, in public, not to express. She said she don't even know how to cry. I said, girl, because she also just lost her husband. 
I said, your problem is you need to cry. Crying is cleansing, guys. Crying is cleansing. There's nothing wrong. Don't let nobody tell you. God gave you that emotion for a reason, okay? Cry if you have to cry. Cry if you have to cry. There's nothing wrong with crying. You're a human being. So I was just like happy that, you know, I told you guys 70% of my listeners are males. So I'm just happy that he was able to sit down and, um, you know, I listened, I listened. You know, we all have to, sometimes you're a great talker. You like to speak a lot. But one thing I'm learning more and more is to just listen. Sometimes people just need your ears, you know? So, yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Men, it's okay to cry, all right? All right, guys, leave your story here, all right? If you had any grief, how did you deal with your grief? And when is the last time you cried? This is, this is for my males and females. Help them out in the comment section, all right? Thank you, guys.